woke up late but decided to make this trip anyway. Anderson Street in Hackensack. I've been to Hackensack just one time that I can recall. But it was a long time ago. It was for a, to meet up with a, uh, someone I built a website for. It didn't go well. I never talked to him again. But it's got nothing to do with Hackensack. I'm running out. The New Jersey Transit 1253 of the main line to Middletown, New York, is expected to arrive on track G in approximately 8 minutes.
Henderson Street, but not without a little bit of drama. I always listen for these, those announcements, but they didn't make any this time. Sometimes they'll say, you have to be in the front four cars or the front X number of cars to exit at a certain station. They didn't say anything about that this time. So the people who... A couple of people who were trying to get off at Essex Street, the previous stop, started freaking out because none of the doors were open. And they were like almost panicking. <laughs> they were like, how do I get off the train? How do we get off? They're like screaming. <laughs> so when I saw that, I asked one of the NJT workers if I was in the right car to get out, and she said no. She told me where to go. I don't, I don't remember seeing this, <laughs> this little flourish on a, a street sign before. The blinking yellow, and then the blinking red. The blinking yellow for caution, and then the stop sign ahead, and then the blinking red on the stop sign itself. And it's solar powered. Anyway, welcome to Hackensack. Well, Hackensack has these fire call boxes. This is number 62 made by the Gamewell company. I'm going solely by memory, I think that's the same company that made the ones in... Oh, I can't think of the city now. But, um, it was another New Jersey city, maybe I'll think of it later. But uh, somebody commented on the video that I posted from there. that these types are actively maintained and are expected to work. The Gamewell Company, that's a great logo. Look at this, I'm just steps away from the train station and some fresh meat. <laughs> I'm gonna be surprised, but... Um, Happily so, if we find dial tone today. I really don't, don't anticipate that. This looks like a new tell. This is, uh, 116 Anderson Street. With the infamous, with the infamous, this payphone works. Sticker. sign beckoning to payphone users. Nope. No doubt. Huh? I've been getting reports of working Newtel rigs in I think Center City and other parts of Pennsylvania. So far, the only working one I've found in all my travels has been in Elizabeth. I think that was just some kind of crazy fluke. Oh God, I think I see another one already. This is awesome. The, uh, the dude here in the bar, uh, barber shop saw me taking pictures of that phone outside and he came out and he said, you taking pictures of the phone booths? And he said, I got one in here. <laughs> so here it is. This is in uh, some old Verizon. No number shown on it though, unfortunately. 
That's really cool. I wish I got that guy on video coming out of the uh, open the door. He says, "You taking pictures of phone booths? Come on in." <laughs> Beauty. This is all a misunderstanding. I'm not a drug addict. I swear. Hey. Yeah, it was this place, the Unique Hair Studio, 114 Anderson Street in Hackensack. You can see the phone I was getting before is right outside. So. Yeah, that dude just opened the door. He's like, you want to get another phone? I got one in here. That was really cool. <laughs> That's the one. There's How many of those are there, really, that I'd have to enter every single place of business or just call every place of business and ask? Um, there's an air, airman, by the way. Not as uh, flamboyant as most of them. We got two for one here. Pay phone and a barber's pole. Yep, another new tell. No, no overhanging sign. And I'll bet you this is a big lie. Indeed. Not in bad shape. Except that it doesn't work. Base is a little messed up. This is eighty six Anderson Street. something on Main Street, but looks like it is not to be. Just want to make a phone call, man. <laughs> I think it was Rutherford city I was trying to think of that had this style of fire emergency call box. Here's another one.
Greetings from the sack. If that's supposed to be Coltrane, and I think it is, I read in the Times last week that a church was formed in his name. <laughs> the Church of John Coltrane. And it seemed surprising at first, but then I remembered I went to a Paul McCartney concert once. Afterwards, these people outside the, the Meadowlands were handing out books espousing the gospel of John Lennon. I think I might still have that book somewhere. I think their, their whole religion was based solely on Imagine, the song Imagine. I don't know how I lost track of time, but it's already after two. There's a little cemetery at the historic First Reformed Church. Is that a mirror? <laughs> That's actually something I wanted to put in my columbarium niche. No, it's not a mirror, it's just a white surface that's been worn out. But I want to put a mirror in my... next to my cremation urn. So you can take a look at yourself. I'll make mine the most popular niche in the columbarium. <clears throat> I've never heard of anybody doing that. Putting a mirror on their tombstone or in the niche. I have seen people put uh, digital LED screens. That was briefly a fad, but I don't think it ever really caught on. Bus terminal is a place that might actually have a working one. I don't believe it. These are these are PTS. Yeah. <laughs> that sucker's got dial tone. Yep, so does this one. There's dial tone and hackensack. Doesn't look like the TTY light goes on. Yeah, that's some old uh, access code that is supposed to pop open the TTY, but I haven't found one where that actually works. Might as well take a look at the parking.
parking meters. That's one of the two that I spotted earlier on Anderson Street. Just getting another another view. And that's the first one I got outside the barber shop where where I was invited in. That was really cool. I guess this is all I'm gonna get today because I do not want to miss the 3.30. Just on a hunch, I went over to this laundromat, and what do you know? A couple of new tells. I gotta hurry, though. Nothing doing, no dial tone. No way. Yeah, laundromats were were uh, ace locations for pay funds back in the day. Some of the light fixtures here are pretty cool. I actually had a little more time than I thought to catch this train, so... Just take a few moments to appreciate the light fixture. With the setting sun behind it.
two functional PTS phones at the bus terminal and one possible ghost of a payphone passed on the wall of a building on uh, that was at 250 River Street. Like I said, I'll, maybe I'll street view that to see if there's any clue as to what used to be on that spot. Oh, and I, I picked up those PTSs and tr tried star one zero, but that didn't work. But that doesn't always work, and it doesn't mean that the phones don't work. But I didn't try to make a regular call. Anyway. If I do hack and sack again, it would be... I take the train to Essex Street instead of Anderson. But I don't know. This is just two stops from Teterboro, which... Uh, I think that was my last New Jersey trip. You can see all these planes pouring in to the Teterboro Airport. Oh, you don't see them right at the moment, but... I guess I just didn't realize how busy that airport was with the smaller planes. The Jeffrey Epstein-type planes. As a matter of fact, I think that's where they arrested him. Was it Teterboro? I don't know why I know that, because I'm not paying attention to the 